Hello, my name is Dennis Jensen and this is a new tutorial. This time we are going to look at the spine. But before we get into the tutorial, I got some uh, quick announcements. Um, the reason why I didn't make a tutorial last week is because we had our trailer project and we had to finish it. Uh, we also had to make a presentation of it. And in my opinion, it uh, got. I, I really liked the result that we got. It was very stressful the last week. We were up to late in the evenings and nights, and uh, yeah, it was a bit stressful. But uh, now it's over. It's a new week, and it's awesome. Um, in the next couple of tutorials, I would like to show you how to make. Uh, in this one, it's going to be the spine. But in the next one, I was thinking about the arms, and then the hands, and then the big final is going to be the head. And uh, that's the plan. Also, I'm going to make, a, I think, a little bonus uh, tutorial on how to paint the weights. And I'm also thinking about about making a tutorial that shows you how you can make uh, stretchy, stretchy arms and stretchy legs and all that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, also I'm um, looking into making a competition. Um, it could, I think, it could be really cool to have a competition on the side. I got a lot of feedback on the on the earlier stuff I did with the tutorials, and some of the feedback is just amazing because people are very happy. People are uh, writing me from Italy and Mexico and all kind of places. And it's really nice to know that people appreciate it. Um, so if you like what I do, please uh, write me a comment because that's what keeps me going. <laughs> um, yeah, and also one last thing, I've been uh, talking to some people and I'm trying to get more people involved in the project. So I think I actually found uh, found some interesting people uh, who can help me out with the site, and uh, it's gonna be awesome. I can't tell you too much now, but uh, I can just say it's gonna be awesome. You have to trust me. Okay, and now on to this tutorial. Today, as I said, we're gonna look at the spine and we're gonna look at the head. Not the, the facial controllers, but only how you can control your head. Uh, we're gonna make the controllers first and then we're gonna constrain them. I'm not sure how long it's gonna take, but it shouldn't be that long. Um, so let's jump jump into it. Uh, we got the character that we made. The last thing we made was uh, the leg. I'm not gonna do both legs and both arms because it's basically gonna be the same. Um, as you can see in the outliner we got some different stuff and just to clean it a bit more up I like to uh, select the IK handles and make a group and call it IK left handles group just to be sure and uh, yes and also I would like to make a rubber hose kind of group um, so I'm just gonna do that I'm gonna group these two and call them rubber hose leg L group <coughs> And as you can see, we still got some uh, different um, uh, controllers. So to make it more um, clean, we're gonna make. If you go to create, um, nerve no, not nerve primitives. Yeah, nerve primitive. No, I ah, forget. I'm just gonna go to curves here and make a circle. Then I'm gonna drag it. Because we need a main controller for all our um, all our, our whole character, so I just made this one and I sealed it out, and then we're gonna take the foot and actually all these uh, controllers, and you want to make uh, sure you select the orient of both the the rubber hose controllers and place them under our new nerd circle, and we're gonna rename this one to main control and then we are ready 
to make uh, the controllers for uh, our spine and I'm gonna create a new circle I'm gonna make it this big <coughs> and normally you can, if you want you can make uh, some I don't know what to say, but some handle you can grab on the back you can do that if you want I'm not gonna do that right now because uh, this is more to show how you can do it, not to make it pretty so this is gonna be the um, yeah, I'm not sure what we should call this because this is going to control the upper body so maybe we should call it um, main body Oops. body control we're gonna, if you hold V and middle mouse button you can uh, drag it to the middle and you should just make sure that it's on this bow on this joint um, <coughs> because otherwise it will act weirdly when you rotate it so I'm, oops I'm gonna make it a bit bigger with the scale and then I'm gonna hold down control D to make a new one and I'm gonna scale this as well we want two controllers here in the middle because one of them is going to control the hip and one of them is going to control the whole body you want an additional controller for the hip because <coughs> when the animators are posing the character they should be able to just move the hips but not the whole upper body because that's easier otherwise they will have to move the whole body and then move the spine back to get a good counter animation it, it's kind of hard to explain but uh, trust me on this one so I'm just gonna name rename this one to hips. I'm gonna duplicate it, and I'm gonna holding V. I'm gonna snap it to. Well, this is always a bit tricky, but I'm gonna snap it to the third joint, and we can maybe uh, change this later on if it's if it's too much. I'm gonna call this spine. O1 controller, I'm gonna duplicate it, and the next one, the next controller, I'm gonna move it about three joints up. Mm, and now that I see this, maybe it should be even more up, but for now, I'm gonna leave it at this. Yes, I'm gonna do that, and you can see that. Um, the orientation of the circle is not the same as uh, the joint you can change that but it's not that important on the spine so for now I'm just gonna leave it at this um, yeah and um, the next thing you want is a controller for um, kind of the shoulders so let's do that, duplicate this one and by holding V you can snap it so I'm gonna snap it here yeah and that's the controller for th for, um, for the spine we also want one for the head and it's a bit different what people like some people like one for the neck and one for the head I usually just make one for the whole head and I snap it to around here um, and yeah that's a uh, yeah it's a personal preference but you can do it whatever you want you can make one for the for the neck and one for the head but if this is your first time rigging I suggest you do it the same way as I'm doing it and I'm just gonna rename this one to head oops head ah by the way we had the <laughs> after we made the trailer project there was a Christmas party um, I just have to rename this the third spine this is gonna be the second one but what I wanted to say was that everybody was so happy because they finished the trailer project so it was just the mood at the party was it was so cool everybody was happy and everybody was 
drinking, having fun. I was out at the, in the um, at the entrance because at every uh, every party we had to. Right now I'm just sorry <laughs> that I I just kept carried away with the story. Right now I'm just uh, making some uh, some customized uh, curves. You can do that if you want. It will not change the pivot. You will still have the pivot in the center. So I, I kind of like doing this because. Um, it makes it more clear what the controller is controlling and it also looks more nice.